Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Han, and today I'm going to discuss why you should write your divorce story. First of all, writing is used often in a, as a tool for therapy, in particular for trauma. Divorce is an incident, or not even an incident, an event that is about trauma. It's a disruption, it's a break, it's a happening that you didn't necessarily plan on because the vast majority of people who marry don't anticipate that they will divorce. So um, writing down your story is a way of understanding what you were and who you were. So in this way, writing can be very therapeutic. Okay, so that's the big reason why you would write, okay? To feel better about who you are and what happened. The second reason why you write, however, has to do with potentially what it can do to the legal situation. Divorce is the abandoning of an illegal agreement which was marriage, correct? You are um, separating and dissolving this business agreement. Now, chances are when you're doing this, you're gonna be negotiating. It could be negotiations about children, property, or whatever that you held in joint, um, jointly together, okay? Um, now, so it's important for the story around the acquisition of these items or the, the unfolding of your life to be read unheard, in particular because you may not necessarily um, be able otherwise to represent yourself in the best way possible. And this is what I mean. I'm gonna use my own situation as an example. I had a high conflict divorce, okay? Um, but what I will say was that I inserted my divorce story into the file. And as a result of it being in the file, upon entering the mediation, um, the judge said, these two people should not be in the same room. And because I was not in the same room as my ex, I could negotiate better, okay? Had I been in the same room, I would have been emotionally upset. I might have been feeling awkward, but because I was not in the same room, I could speak honestly and much more truthfully and in a sense, represent myself better. So it shifted the outcome across all arenas in my own divorce. I am aware that not every attorney suggests that you include your divorce story in your legal file. And to do this, you should have attorney clearance, okay? But many attorneys do suggest that you write your story, okay? One of the most important things we have to remember is that the very institution of marriage and therefore of divorce were, uh, was set up to center the needs of men, not women. Our laws were written by men. Our religious and spiritual traditions were recorded in text by men. The entire global structure has been organized by men. In other words, across the globe, women have not really had a say in how they are governed. And this includes in the arena of marriage. There can be all different kinds of interpretations of marriage, but the way that it is set up and often interpreted under laws, which are authored by men, it does not do justice to a woman's body or her needs. Okay, so if you insert your story, you are adding a personal perspective that might be very worthy and valid and could make a difference in your divorce. So with this, I urge you to write your divorce story. It's not as hard as you think it is. Uh, the vast majority of you, I'm assuming, 
had some kind of um, instruction in writing the five paragraph essay in high school, it's pretty much the same thing. And I designed the divorce story structure for it to be that easy because I was a high school teacher, okay? So I know what it takes to instruct in a way that is very clear. So I'm hoping what you can do is follow this divorce story structure and write your way to truth and freedom, okay? If there's any questions, please feel free to email me. Go to drstephaniehan.com. Subscribe to my newsletter. I'll be discussing reading, writing, creative process, and health. It's bi-monthly, twice a month. Again, go to drstephaniehan.com. And if you like this video, and if you're interested in learning more about how to write your divorce story, stay tuned because I'm gonna be revealing it here and I hope it helps you. Please uh, forward it along to a woman who may also need to be doing this at this point. Cheers, aloha, Stephanie.